In today's episode, I'm going to be taking a look at Tekken 3, which is arguably one of the greatest 3D beat-em-ups of all time, and for me, it's my personal favourite of the Tekken series. I think this game is pretty much perfect, but there's one thing for me that it's lacking, and that is trophies, as there was no trophies for this on the PS1, but today, I'm going to be changing that as I ask. Okay, let's get a quick trophy breakdown to see what Tekken 3 has. So in total, there'll be 24 trophies available, one platinum trophy, seven gold trophies for you to collect, seven silver trophies for you to collect, and then nine bronze trophies. So with that out of the way, it's time to take a deeper look into the actual trophies for the game. So we'll start by taking a look at the nine bronze trophies available in Tekken 3. So I wanted to keep the bronze trophies in this game quite simple and I decided to focus them around the arcade mode as there are 9 characters that you can unlock from playing through arcade and finishing it with a character so you can actually pick the same character and do this 9 times in a row with them for arcade to unlock the trophies but for me you're better off doing it with a different character each time so you can unlock their ending movie so once you fight through all of the stages and defeat True Ogre in the final stage, you'll unlock your first trophy, it's Kuma and Panda, as this trophy ties into you unlocking the Kuma slash Panda character in the game. So as a little side note, you can do the arcade on easy, normal or hard, it doesn't matter, as long as you complete the arcade mode from start to finish, you will unlock the trophies, it's not tied to any difficulty, so that way any player of any ability should be able to get them. They can also pick the same character and do it that way, so there's a lot of choices there available. So once you've completed arcade and you go back into play another game, you'll see your characters are locked in the character selection screen, but there's still a lot more to go yet. So if you were to finish arcade for a second time, as soon as you defeated Ogre, you would get the bronze, it's Julia trophy for unlocking Julia. Julia Chang as one of the fighters. If you didn't do it a third time, you would unlock the It's Gunjack Bronze Trophy, as this would unlock Gunjack in the character selection screen for you to play as. Then, if you were to do arcade mode again with the same character or a different one, you would unlock the bronze, it's Mokujin Trophy for unlocking that character. If you were to go through a fifth time of arcade, you would unlock the Anna Williams Trophy um, for unlocking her in the game. So you can clearly see a pattern emerging here, so if we were to play arcade once more and finish it again for the sixth time, we'd unlock the bronze, it's Brian trophy. And then if we were to go back through arcade again for a seventh time, we would unlock the bronze, it's Hihachi trophy for unlocking Hihachi Mishima. So with him unlocked, there's not many more characters left through arcade completion to unlock, but if we were to do arcade for a eighth time, we would unlock the bronze, it's Ogre trophy. And then if we were to finish arcade once more, for a ninth time we would unlock the It's True Ogre bronze trophy and that would be all of the characters that you can unlock through playing arcade mode. So that's not all of the characters in the game but for the arcade mode that's it. So that's all of the bronze trophies that we can unlock in Tekken so now let's have a look at the seven silver trophies that are available in the game. So if you were to complete arcade mode once more, while you wouldn't unlock any specific new character, completing arcade mode for a tenth time will unlock you a trophy tied to a new game mode that will unlock called Tekken Ball, which is basically a volleyball minigame. So this would unlock the silver hit the beats trophy as soon as you press the button to go into this mode it will just unlock naturally. There is another trophy tied to Tekken Ball mode if you get to play against Gon and you successfully manage to defeat him in a match. So you can do this like with arcades, you could do this on easy, normal or hard, it doesn't matter as long as you complete uh, the game and beat Gun in this mode, you will unlock a trophy for your efforts. So, Gun doesn't always show up when you're playing Tekken Ball, um, and if you do lose against him, it might be a while before he reappears in the sort of character rotation. So, it's not one that you might get on the very first attempt, especially if you've never played. Um, Tekken Ball mode before and you don't really know what to expect. But basically you want to do some really strong attacks to charge up the ball and whack Gon to drain his health. And if you do manage to defeat him, you'll get the silver going going Gon trophy 
which is tied to you defeating Garn and unlocking him in Tekken Ball mode. So he's then available to fight as throughout the game. The next silver trophy we can earn is again tied to Garn actually. So with his ending movie, the cutscene just loops. It's in it on an infinite loop and it never actually stops until you press a button to interrupt it. And I always thought that was really weird um, that the game did this for Garn. I didn't really know why because all of the other characters, once their ending movie finished, it would just uh, take you back to the title screen. But Garn's would just loop over and over and over again. Uh, and it took me a while at first. I remember when I first finished it with Garn and I was watching it. I didn't notice straight away, I probably got halfway through the, the loop of the second run of it before I realised this was just the same thing over and over. And then I probably watched it another two times just to see if it was going to change and by that point I got bored and skipped it. So for this little novelty trophy, um, I require you to watch the Gone movie on a constant loop for 60 minutes. And as soon as you do that, and um, you've watched it for an hour in a row without skipping it, you would unlock the silver trophy, which I've called Gone in 60 Minutes, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> okay, so the next silver trophy isn't as much of a troll as the last one, to be honest. And this one focuses on the time attack mode, because I tried to give a trophy, at least a trophy for every sort of game mode in the game that we can take a look at. Um, so with time attack mode, it's basically arcade mode. Uh, but you're fixed to play two rounds per fighter, uh, so you need to win two, best of a three basically, but you need to win two rounds to get through. So if you can get through the entirety of arcade mode in under four minutes and 30 seconds, you will be the lucky recipient of a shiny silver trophy for your troubles. And I figured four minutes 30 seconds was a decent time for a decent amount of players at different sort of levels. Um, I was going to go a bit lower, but I thought that would be enough. Uh, and if you do that, you will unlock the silver Fists of Fury trophy for beating it in under four minutes 30 seconds. And I do think that's one that anyone can sort of get, really. It gives you enough time to make maybe one or two failed rounds and I still think you could still comfortably get that but definitely go in with a strong character like Law because you can do some big hits and take off bigger chunks of uh, your opponent's health which makes you defeat them faster. So the next silver trophy is another kind of fun novelty one um, which challenges you to complete an entire round defeating an entire opponent uh, of all of their health without actually punching or kicking your opponent. So instead, you can only use the throws in the game. So this could be a little bit tricky because when you're trying to go for a throw by double pressing the two buttons at the same time, you may accidentally mistime it and punch. So you'll definitely need to reassi reassign the controls and have it on the shoulder buttons. And if you can complete that and beat the opponent by just using throws, you'll unlock the silver grapple game trophy. So the next silver trophy is earned through the team battle mode, which allows you to play anywhere between a one-on-one -on -one and a eight-on-eight. Um, but the teams always have to be even. So this trophy challenges you to an 8v8 match, but there is a twist on this trophy challenge in that you need to defeat all of your opponent's eight fighters with just your first character. Now, that may sound like a really impossible task, but if you're a skilled player, you will be able to defeat an opponent quite easily. And if you do take damage, after the end of every successful round, you will get some of your health back. So you can sort of take a lot of damage and then get a good round when you don't, and you'll, your health will come back down and you'll have a lot more health. Um, this one may take a couple of times to a, a couple of attempts for you to get it, but I do think it's doable, and I've done it multiple times, uh, especially back in the day when I was playing against friends. So you could even do this against the computer, or if you really wanted to boost it, you could just put in another controller and just easily defeat them that way. But the option is there if you want to take on the challenge and be serious with it. I mean, I could have just done a player survival match, but I didn't think that would make it for a interesting and sort of skillful trophy to do. So I wanted to give it something with a bit of a twist here, and I thought that this would be quite a nice sort of option to do. Um, and it's kind of a challenging one, and I think it'd be a fun one to do. So once you've completed that and you get to the results screen, the silver Who Needs Them trophy will unlock for winning an 8 versus 8 team battle with just your first fighter. And pretty much you'll be getting god status, and if you've done that against your friends, you'll definitely have bragging rights for that one. 
I'm sure. <laughs> Okay, so the next silver trophy is another sort of unique one that maybe people didn't really know about. So once you complete the game and you've got all the characters, um, you can unlock a mode called Theatre Mode, which allows you to look at all of the endings uh, and music from Tekken 3. But there's also another option here, because you can actually take out the Tekken 3 disc and insert the Tekken 2 or the Tekken 1 game disc. And when you do that, um, the menu will load up after it checks the disc and realizes that it is one of the Tekken games and it will load up and it will give you access to all of the um, Tekken 1 or 2 ending movies and music so I wanted to give a silver trophy called an old school jam for this because I thought it was a really cool feature that maybe people didn't really know about so if you did that and put in the Tekken 1 or 2 disc and you watch an ending movie from one of those games or if you look at um, a Sat, listen to a bit of music from one of those games you will get this trophy so the description would be relived a moment from a previous iron fist and the trophy would be a silver old school jam trophy so people might moan about this one because you you are required to own the first one or one or two of the Tekken game so it's not the trophy that you'll get if you don't own them which is a bit unfortunate but it was too cool of a little easter egg sort of thing for me to not include um, in the trophy list and you could always find a friend who has it and just quickly swap them um, or you could rent the game or yeah or you could buy it cheap on platinum you know so I do think there's uh, it's fair enough you know what I mean it's not it's not like you need to spend 50 60 quid on a light gun or a VR set for 200 300 quid you know what I mean it's a cheap cheap alternative and it's just a cool feature in the game and they they did this later on in I think Tekken 5 maybe had it where you could look at the old movies I don't think you need to swap the discs or anything it was just already on there um, so it's just a cool little bit of Tekken history that you can look at through the through the menu in Tekken 3 which I thought was really cool um, so yeah that'll get you the silver trophy for that and that is all of the silver trophies in Tekken 3 so let's have a look at the seven gold trophies that are available in the game so first up there would be a gold trophy uh, for completing a 10 hit combo so you could do this with any character but for my personal preference I find King to be one of the easiest ones to do a 10 hit combo with if you manage to do that you'll unlock the gold c -c 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 combo trophy um, so you could do this in practice mode but you can't use the demo thing to get the thing you have to do it yourself um, and you can also unlock it in any other mode so you could be in arcade and if you manage to do it on the, the final boss in the game like I did here you would unlock the c -c -c combo trophy for your troubles for, for pawning a massive 10 hit combo in the game um, so yeah that's a that's a cool little gold trophy that's kind of skillful but it's one that you can easily do with practice I'm sure so next up we have a gold trophy tied to Tekken force mode which is the sort of mini game you can unlock that's a sort of that's already unlocked sorry um, it's a sort of side scrolling street of rage esque beat em up that's kind of fun but in practice it's kind of clunky because it can be really hard to move um, so my tip for this is you definitely want to use a character like Jin who has a really strong kick because um, that'll be easy for you to get through all the stages in the game so the the game has uh, four stages for you to complete. Each one has a boss, one of the characters from Tekken, to fight at the end of the stage. And if you manage to get to stage four and defeat Aihachi Mishima, you will unlock the gold dock in the house trophy for getting your first of the three keys needed after completing the game in order to get to the secret stage. So this isn't you unlocking Dr. B, but merely just unlocking one of the keys towards him. So if you were to play through Tekken Force mode another two times, you would get two more keys, a silver and a gold. And then if you were to play through Tekken Force once more, after defeating Aihachi in stage four, you would be taken to a secret final stage in the underground, which is essentially just a boss fight against Dr. Baskonovich, who is like a, I think he's just a drunken doctor who can't really walk that well. So he's just always on the floor rolling around. And I I always used to hate fighting against him but if you manage to kick his ass and beat Tekken Force mode fully you will unlock the gold full house trophy um, because that would be your last fighter that you've unlocked assuming you've done all of arcade and um, the Tekken Ball one to unlock gone 
So next up is a, another gold trophy, uh, kind of tied to the theatre mode, but more just arcade really. So once you've played for arcade with every character and seen all of the endings, you will unlock the film buff gold trophy for your troubles. So that's, I think, what is that, nine, nine, there's, there's quite a lot of characters there actually, it's not nine, it's, more, it's a lot more than nine. Um, 15 or so I think, I can't remember how many there are now, but there's quite a lot for you to do there. Okay, so next up for the gold trophies in Tekken 3, we have a trophy tied once again to arcade mode, um, because that is the, that, the main bulk of the game, so it, it is going to have most of the trophies. So this trophy requires you to complete arcade mode without dropping a single round, so that means just without losing any sort of round uh, or a match against an opponent. So you could just uh, sort of cheat a little bit of this and set the uh, difficulty to easy and then just set it to one round and maybe infinite time and you can just blast your way through that way to unlock the trophy so basically um, there's the option to do it a skillful way there's the option to do it an easy way so it kind of balances out for all sort of player ability levels so basically you've just got to storm your way through arcade mode completing each stage uh, defeating the characters without losing any rounds so if you did lose a round um, which by round I mean just one round of a match. So if you did have two rounds to win a match, if you won the one but lost another and then won the third, that would still void the trophy. You need to be flawless in your uh, fights. You don't need to, um, you can't not lose any single round of any stage. Um, so if you did do that and you got to the end and you failed on Truoga, you would unfortunately have to start again and do the whole thing from scratch. Um, but it's still quite a cool, fun trophy to do, and I think most Tekken players who love this game will be able to do that quite easily, even on the more or hard. Um, but it's just a fun one to just try and push yourself to try and have that sort of flawless game where you get through every single stage, every single point. Uh, without dropping any rounds, so you can still get hit obviously if you take damage that's not a problem i was kind of tempted to do that at first but i thought that was that was quite intense really to try and get all that way and i think that would have just made the trophy um too sort of too frustrating and too bullshit to be honest so if you just get to the end without losing a round, you'll unlock the gold, simply perfect trophy for your troubles, which I think is quite a good trophy to have. Um, definitely shows signs that you're a, a competent player of Tekken, I feel there. Uh, so it's definitely one that I quite like to put in. Um, okay, so next up, we have another gold trophy available, this time relating to difficulty levels. So once again, arcade mode, but this time, if you set it to hard and you manage to complete the game on hard, you will get another gold trophy called Game Ogre Man for completing the arcade on the hardest difficulty with no continues. So this one you can, I decided to say you could lose a round but you can't lose a game so you need to defeat every fighter and not lose any to them. So there is a challenge there I feel, but hard isn't actually as hard as some of the other Tekkens so it's not that bad. The next gold trophy is probably one of, if not the toughest one, it relates to the survival game which is basically you against an infinite number of opponents. Um, every time you win a fight your health will be restored slightly and you've just got to challenge yourself to try and defeat as many as you can and see how long you can basically survive. Um, so with this trophy I decided to set I sort of struggled at first to find a decent amount of wins to make it a challenging trophy but not one that was just too hard for people and I think I finally settled on a good number that I think is, is a tough challenge but it's not totally impossible and it's definitely one that you can do with a bit of practice so with this you're required to get a total of 15 survival mode wins back to back wins um, and as soon as you do this you will unlock the gold greatest survival a trophy for those 15 wins so I decided to make sure this unlocked as soon as you get that 15th win recorded and not at the end when you finally get knocked out of survival because I didn't want people to get 15 wins but end up finishing with like 50 or whatever but the game crashed or whatever at that point or it, the power went out or whatever so the trophy just definitely unlocks as soon as you get that 15th win recorded it would have been cool to do it on the survival results screen, but just to be safe and just to 
relieve the pressure it just unlocks as soon as you win that 15th game. And I think that's probably the, the best challenge you've got to get in the game with the trophy list that I've come up with. And while that is pretty much all of the trophies, that is all of the golds, all of the silvers, and all the bronze trophies that we've talked about. So once you've unlocked that, all of those trophies, you would naturally unlock the Platinum Trophy King of Iron Fist 3 for unlocking every other trophy in the game. And that would be it. You'd have your Platinum and you'd have the trophy list on your profile complete. So that is pretty much brings me to the end of the video, to be honest, because that's the... That's the entirety of my list for Tekken 3. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this and replaying Tekken 3 again to come up with the ideas for the trophies and just get all my footage recorded. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. What did you think of my trophy list? Which trophies do you think you could have got um, back in the day? Which trophies do you think you won't be able to get? What do you think of the trophies? Which ones do you like? Which ones do you think are bullshit? Which ones do you think are too easy or too hard? Let me know, please, in the comments below. Thank you once again for watching my video on Tekken 3 for the What If PlayStation Games Had Trophies video series. Um, until then, until next time I guess, I will see you soon. Thanks again for watching, see ya. And I'll leave you to enjoy this awesome intro. Bye bye.